Beverly Hills police arrest another 43 people, all of this in connection with a growing fraud scam, one that targets the state's unemployment benefit system. Nearly 90 in total, all wanted for stealing tax dollars, dollars intended for Californians who've lost their job during this pandemic. And why? To go on lavish shopping sprees. Tonight, consumer investigator Randy Mack has the story. Beverly Hills, long known as the mecca for luxury shopping, isn't just enticing for those who have money. Police say it's a destination for identity thieves running unemployment insurance scams who may very well have stolen your money. As of yesterday, we have, uh, we've made a total of 87 arrests. We have eight handguns that have been recovered. We have 181 EDD cards that are in our possession that we've recovered. We've recovered approximately $467,000 total in cash. We've also recovered $44,000 in U.S. postal money orders. Police say all of the cash and debit cards were obtained from scammers committing fraud against California's Employment Development Department. 90% of the people that have been arrested are not from the state, are listing out-of-state addresses. Lieutenant Subin told me some of the arrestees are from as far north as Alaska and as far east as New York. They're flying to California, moving into short-term rental homes in the L.A. area, and as the I-team has reported, applying for unemployment insurance using identity stolen through data breaches, sending debit cards and checks to their rentals, as well as other homes that are vacant or have easily accessible mailboxes. And while many unemployed Californians wait months with nothing from EDD, scammers are getting cash in days. So it takes about three to four days after you thumb in all the information in the computer until you have a card in your hand. And then they travel to Beverly Hills and spend their EDD money on high-end merchandise within the business district of Beverly Hills. Police say routine traffic stops led them to some of the people arrested. In other cases, luxury stores reported suspicious use of EDD cards. Through our informants, we've heard that there's uh, times that um, the cards don't um, are maxed out, so they grab a couple cards, as well as um, they all pull the card together and buy a, a high-end pair of shoes or a high-end purse of that nature. So there may be two or three cards attached to a single purchase. Oh, yes. But even with 87 arrests and potentially millions stolen, identity theft is a nonviolent offense, which means it's a zero bail offense in California. Offenders don't even go to jail. They get processed, they get fingerprinted, they get they get booked, and they will be given a ticket to appear at uh, appear at our local court in about 60 to 90 days. Beverly Hills police are now warning store owners and other high-end shopping areas to be on the lookout for these scammers, and they say that their investigation may be far from over. In Chino Hills, I'm Randy Mack for NBC4 News.